Good evening, ladies and gentlemen. Welcome to Adams Field for Quincy versus North Quincy tonight here in high school baseball. The Raiders come in with a record of 1-2, and two, and they are the away team tonight in their black uniforms. Quincy High comes in with a record of 3-1. and one. They are the home team tonight in the whites. Pitching tonight for Quincy High is uh, Albert Guzman, number 20. Albert's a senior at Quincy High, and this is his last game. Uh, Albert's going into the service uh, next week, and this is his last high school baseball game, and he couldn't have picked a better night to do it here at beautiful Adams Field on this beautiful night against the North Quincy Red Raiders. We'll be with you with the first pitch in just a minute. All right, we're ready for the first pitch here. Albert's battery mate tonight is uh, also senior Coleman Ross behind the plate. Uh, we have somebody throwing up the first pitch. It's uh, Albert's parents. Looks like his sister is uh, is coming out to honor Albert, this being his last game. We're ready to get underway here at Adams Field, leading off for the Red Raiders, number 19, the right fielder, Scotty Ritz. Ritz is a junior at North Quincy. First pitch of the game, hit deep to center field. Tracked down by Devin Desmond, we have one out. In the game of baseball, that's one of the nicest things there is. One pitch, one out. Batting second for the Raiders is number 13, Zach Taylor. Zach will be in left field tonight. Strike one by Albert. Seems to be coming out throwing strikes right away. Second pitch, ground ball down the third base line. Taylor takes an aggressive turn, stays at first base. Single by Taylor right down the line. We got a man on first with one out here. Next step into the plate is the catcher for North Quincy. Number three, Johnny Lynch. Be interesting to see if North Quincy's aggressive tonight with uh, senior Coleman Ross behind the plate. And you got a lefty at Albert. Uh, he has a pretty good move to first, so we'll see what North Quincy does. Ball one, they take off right away. 
and he's safe. A little stolen base by the Red Raiders. Man on second, one out. One ball, no strikes. Really good read by uh, Taylor there. He saw the catch went down to his knees and the ball was in the dirt. He read the ball down. And uh, as soon as the ball hit the dirt and the catch went down, he took right off for second base. Takes a perfect throw by the catcher. It's a really good job by Zach Taylor. Strike one, even up the count, one and one. This is a great spot for Lynchy. He likes to hit the ball to the right side. And with less than two outs, we got to get that man over to third base or potentially score him on a single to the right. Albert Hosen close the pitch. Strike two. Foul ball back to the backstop. We got one ball, two strikes, one out here in the first inning. One and two, Albert comes to the set. Keeps Taylor close to second base. And he hits Lynch. He looks like he tried to get a curve ball, and it just got a little too inside there, and he hit Lynch. And now we got first and second with one out. The Raiders are threatening right away. Now batting for the Raiders is number six. He's pitching tonight, Lamb Hines. Lamb Hines is one of the captains of the team. He's a senior, uh, and he won the Patriot League MVP uh, this year for football. So, multi-sport athlete, uh, great kid, comes from a really good family, going to Mass Maritime next year. He'll look for big things out of Lamb. Albert gets a head strike one. No balls, one strike here in the first inning. We got one out. We got first and second for the Raiders. Taylor on second. And Lynchy was pinch run for it first. Comes to the set, keeps him close. Second one's fouled off. We got 0 2 right away here. I'll get up right away 0 2. Comes to the set, the 0-2. Hines gets a ground ball to second. Quincy Hines is going to try to turn two. They got the out at second base, and that's it. So we got a fielder's choice there. And North Quincy has first and third with two outs here in the first inning. And I can tell you right now that Hines is fast, and Taylor is obviously a very good runner at third base. So I would expect something here. Toes the runner here. We got at the plate for North Quincy the designated hitter, number 20H, Alex Montero. Albert checks in at first base. No real action yet. Like I said, Montero's DHing tonight. Batting in the five hole. Albert comes to the set, first pitch to Montero. Foul ball. Looked like Hines was off on the pitch. We got strike one. You can see Coach Edgerly pacing there in front of the dugout, and I know exactly what he's thinking. Hines was stealing. Montero should have let that pitch go. Let Hines take the base. If Coleman Ross throws the ball down, the kid from third scores. Um, very frustrating as a coach when you put something in and then it doesn't execute. Second pitch is also fouled back to the screen. We got 0-2 again, and Albert is throwing strikes tonight. 
hasn't been getting behind in counts, has been getting ahead. We got 0-2 to Montero. Two outs, top of the first. Man on first and third for the Raiders. Hines is at first, Taylor's at third. Albert checks in at first again, figuring that Hines is going to go 0-2, and he went last pitch. Very, very good lead for Hines at first. He takes off, foul ball again. Montero staying alive at the plate. Another very aggressive lead at first base. Albert comes to the plate, freezes Montero, gets him looking for a strikeout looking. And although had a little bit of trouble with a hit batsman and a, and a single down the line, he gets out of it with a ground out to second and a strikeout looking. After a half an inning, 0-0, zero, zero, President's coming to the plate. Here we are back with the bottom of the first. Leading off for the presence is number three, Devin Desmond, the center fielder. As I said before, pitching tonight for the Raiders is Lamb Hines and his battery mate is Johnny Lynch behind the plate. Devin is also a senior. He is the captain of the Quincy High team. The Quincy High team is coached by Rick Beach and North Quincy team is coached by Matt Edgerly. Devin Desmond, Liam Hines, bottom of the first. Should be a good matchup right here. Liam Hines starts with strike one. Second pitch is a ball low. One and one here to Desmond. Four. 
Strike two, fastball on the outside part of the plate. Good pitch for Hines. The one two pitch, foul ball. Looks like Hines trying to keep Desmond off balance there and did. Desmond fouled it off. And we're back in action here. One and two, no outs to the leadoff batter. The pitch. Ball low and inside, two and two. Fastball up and away. Desmond went and chased it for strike number three. One out here, batting for the Presidents is number nine, Dylan Green, the shortstop. He looks at strike one. Hines getting ahead early, as Albert was in the, in the top half of the inning. Good pitch by Hines. Dylan swings over the top of it. We got an 0-2 count here. Went back to the same pitch. Dylan laid off that one for a ball. One ball, two strikes. The pitch is a high fastball. Green lays off of that. We got two and two. We don't even count. A two two delivery from Hines. Fastball low. Full count three two. So we went 0 2 through three consecutive balls and now it's 3 2 count. Puts a little pressure on himself. The 3 2. Ball four. Walks him. Again, started off 0 2 and then threw four consecutive balls. Okay, Green is on first. We got one out here in the bottom of the first inning. And now with the plate is number six, Nick Ferrara. Hines checks in at first. Safe. Hines comes to the set. First pitch to Ferrara. Checks in again. Ball up high, first pitch. One ball, no strikes. Dylan Green with a good lead off first base. Hines comes to the set. Check swing that he couldn't hold, we got strike one. One and one, one out, bottom of the first, and a scoreless game. The 1-1 one, one pitch, strike two. Fastball up. Ferrara chased it a little bit, probably let her high. And we got another strike. One ball, two strikes. 
Hines checks in again at first base. For, uh, Dylan Green slides back safe. Hines comes to the set, the one two delivery. The pitch is a ball outside. <coughs> Dylan Green still second, gets thrown out by Johnny Lynch. Nice throw by Johnny Lynch, and we got a count of two and two here on the batter. With two outs in the bottom of the first. The 2 2 pitch, curveball for strike three. Hines gets two strikeouts in the inning, and then the walk he gave up was nullified by the throw by Johnny Lynch at second base to throw him out. We got a 0 0 game, we're going to the second inning. Okay, here we go to start the second inning. Albert uh, obviously back out to the mound. Batting for the Raiders is number five, Vinny O'Leary. Vinny O'Leary is playing shortstop tonight. Let's see if Albert can throw up another zero and compete again. Ball one away to Vinny. The 1-0 pitch, ball too low, two balls, no strikes. Albert's got to get into this count right here with a strike. Fastball down the middle of Vinny turns on, single down the left field and the Raiders are on the bases again. Both hits for North Quincy have been balls that were pulled down the line. Now with the plate number 22, Jackson Murphy. Again, Albert has a good move to first being a lefty. Looks like Vinny has a good lead and he's a center fielder so you know he's got some wheels. It's a pitch to Jackson, strike one. Albert comes to the set. The 0-1 pitch. Vinny stealing. Coleman Ross down to second. And he is safe. We got a man on second. No out for the Raiders. Jackson Murphy at the plate. Jackson should be thinking right side. Hit the ball second base, first base, right field. 
You hit the ball over there, that runner at second advances to third, you've done your job. Get him over and then get him in. The 1-1 one, one pitch. Fastball down the middle, strike two. One ball, two strikes to Jackson Murphy. Albert's got to work hard here to get out of this jam. He's got a man on second with no outs. Checks in, keeps him close. Jackson Murphy, fly ball to right. Just what you want to do. Vinny tags up. Throw goes by the shortstop, the cutoff, and he gets to third base. Great at bat by Jackson Murphy there. That's exactly what you want to do in that situation. You want to think opposite field and advance the runner. Nice job by Jackson. Now batting for the Raiders is number two, Brandon Hines. Lamb Hines is twin brother. Second inning, no score, one out. Looks like uh, Quincy High middle is back and the corners are in. Big swing by Hines. No balls on one strike, Albert gets ahead. I totally agree with this strategy being in the second inning of a 0-0 game. There's a long way to go. Um, definitely push the middle back and play for an out. We got a bunt situation here. Coleman Ross picks it up. And Lamb, um, excuse me, Brandon Hine gets a bunt single out of it. Gets a bunt single. So now we got first and third with one out. Well placed bunt right there by Hines. And he, he also has some wheels so he beat it up. Batting for the Raiders is number four, Charlie Ambrault. It's a second baseman. Let's see what Albert does here in this situation. The o, o pitch. It's a fastball down. Charlie swings through it for strike one. We got no balls, one strike to and ball. First and third, one out. Hines takes off for second. Ambrault hits a, a blooper behind shortstop. Great play by the left fielder to catch it. And they are going to appeal third. Say that the kid left early. And the umpire says no. He did not leave early. And the Raiders get on the board. one nothing. Again, Ambrall hits a ball right behind the shortstop left fielder, makes a great play, diving and catching. And uh, kid tagged up from third base and scored. And we have one nothing. Now batting for the Raiders is the top of the order, number 19, Scotty Ritz. He takes strike one by Albert. Although North Quincy's up one nothing and they've been putting a lot of pressure. Albert's been throwing strikes. He's not getting in trouble with walks. He's been throwing strikes. He's doing a good job. No balls. One strike to Ritz. He swings through at strike two. Albert 0-2 here. Two outs in the second inning of a one nothing game as North Quincy scores on a sack fly. Foul ball by Ritz. Count remains 0-2. Ball in the dirt. for a ball. One ball, two strikes. Runner advances to second base on a stolen base. So we got a man on second, two outs, a one-two pitch. Ball away, two and two. That's Brendan Hines that advances to second base on the ball in the dirt. A good heads-up baseball play right there.
It's a 2 2 delivery to Ritz. Ball low. 3 and 2. Another situation where a batter was 0 2. Pitcher's throwing three consecutive balls. We've got a full count here. First base is open, so you want to be careful with this pitch. See if Albert can get out of this jam. So a 3 2 pitch. Ritz calls timeout. A 3-2 delivery, ball four inside. Scotty Ritz walks, four consecutive balls. we got first and second, two outs in a one nothing game here in the top of the second inning. At the plate is number 13, Zach Taylor. Taylor had a single down the line his first at bat. He takes strike one. The 0 1 pitch. Strike two. Good change up. Had Taylor ahead of it there. He's 0 2 on this batter again, just like he was on Ritz. Let's see if he can finish this one off. We got first and second, two outs. Top of the second inning, 1 0 Red Raiders on a sack fly this inning. Ball one away. One ball, two strikes. The 1-2 pitch foul ball. Zach Taylor stays alive in there. Count remains 1-2. and two. Beautiful night here at Adams Field, and uh, it shows. This place is packed tonight. Great showing for the kids that are playing in this game. Both schools are represented very, very well. The 1-2 pitch is a ground ball that gets up the middle. Taylor 2-for-2 two two tonight. Hines comes around to score, and it's 2 0 North Quincy. Big, big, big two strike hit there by sophomore Zach Taylor. Puts North Quincy up 2 0. Albert again had a guy 0 2 and just, just couldn't finish him off. Coming up to the plate, the catcher, number three, Johnny Lynch. North Quincy has three hits tonight. And Zach Taylor has two of the three. The 0-0 pitch to Lynch. Ball one low. For North Quincy, we've got Ritz at third, Taylor at second. Two outs. And a 2-0 game. Foul ball off the foot of Lynch. Count one and one. A 1 1 pitch. It's a single to right by Johnny Lynch. That is what he is known for. He loves to go the other way and hit the ball hard the other way, and he did it there to drive in two runs for the North Quincy Red Raiders. It's their fourth hit in two innings, and they are now up four to nothing. A lot of damage here with two outs. A lot of damage here with two outs. So in high school, for everybody who knows it, it can, there's a courtesy runner for the catcher. And because Johnny Lynch is catching, every time he gets on base, they're allowed to put in a courtesy runner for him. 
It's not he's not getting taken out of the game or anything like that. It's just a courtesy to the catchers. First pitch by Albert to Hines is a slow roll at a second. Got to get rid of it fast. And they do. They get Hines at first base to end the inning. Not before the damage is done. All with two out. Uh, excuse me. One out. They got one run, and then with two outs, they got three others. As North Quincy goes up four to nothing. Back here at Adams Field for the bottom of the second inning. 4 nothing North Quincy Red Raiders. They had three hits that inning, which drove in four runs. A lot of it done with two outs. And I just want to speak again to the, the showing for both North Quincy and Quincy High tonight. The students have really come out tonight and supported the kids and the players. And, you know, we're still in the, mix, in the midst of a, a little bit of a pandemic here, but... Uh, you know, with the with the mask mandates being moved around and the the vaccinations and everything like that, these these kids have been waiting to come out and play. And these guys that are on the field didn't get a chance to play last year against each other. And it's definitely the best rivalry in the city. So they got a chance to come out and showcase tonight. And it's awesome that the kids come out and, and show their support for their their fellow uh, classmates. Bottom of the second, <coughs> catcher Coleman Ross leading off for Quincy High. First pitch from Lambs Hines is a curveball in there for strike number one. The second pitch is a curveball in the dirt. One ball, one strike. The 1-1 one, one pitch, fastball inside, Coleman Ross pulls it down the line, foul ball. One ball, two strikes. Coleman is a junior at Quincy High. Hines is a senior at North Quincy High. They play in the same team in the summer, they know each other well. This will be a good chess match here. Let's see what uh, if Hines can get him out or Coleman can get a single. Ball in the dirt, two and two. The 2-2 delivery to Ross. Fly ball to right, got some legs on it, but tracked well. Tracked well by uh, Brendan Hines. 
helps his brother out there and go, goes and gets that ball. And we got one out. Batting for the Quincy Presidents is number five, Zach Donahue. He takes strike one from Hines. First lefty we saw out of either team at the plate. The 0-1 delivery from Hines. Strike two, foul ball by uh, Zach. We got 0-2 coming up here. The 0-2 delivery from Hines to Zach. Donahue sprays it down the uh, left field line for a foul ball. Cop remains 0-2 to Donahue. Hines with the 0-2 pitch. Curveball in the dirt. Donahue swings for it. Lynchy digs it out of there, throws to first base. We get a strikeout. Two outs now for the Presidents. And number 14 coming to the plate, Matt Kelly. First pitch to Matt Kelly. Curveball for strike one. The second pitch is also a curveball in the dirt that Kelly goes for a strike two. We get 0-2 to Kelly. These guys were across from each other just a couple uh, couple weeks ago as Lamb is running back for North Quincy High School. Kelly's a, the uh, premier linebacker for Quincy High uh, in the Thanksgiving Day game, which was not on Thanksgiving this year. Uh, so I'm not sure you can call it the Thanksgiving Day game, but it was the Quincy North game, uh, which North Quincy prevailed. That pitch was a ball high to Matt Kelly. We get the one-two pitch here. Two outs in the second inning. That ball's also up two and two. The two-two pitch is high for ball three. We got a full count here, three-two. Two outs in the second inning of a four-nothing game. The delivery of the pitch in the 3-2. Ball four high. Kelly draws a walk. All right, so we got a base runner on here with two outs in the second inning. Hines delivery to number 16, Joe Hennessy is a ball one. One ball, no strikes to Hennessy with Matt Kelly on first base. The pitch, he swings and misses. It's one and one. One for that high fastball. The one-one pitch from Hines is a ball up. One, uh, two balls, one strike. <laughs> Hines has to settle down here. Lou's trying to overthrow a little bit too much. Just get a strike in there and get back to work. Oh, he throws the first base to pick off Kelly. He overthrows the first baseman Pritchard. Kelly goes to second. He does not try for third. Stays at second base. An errant throw by Hines there to, uh, over Pritchard's head. Pritchard's a big target too. To miss him the way he did, he's just, he's pressing a little too much. He's, he's thinking a little bit too much. And right here, two balls and one strike with a man on second base. He's up four nothing. Don't even sweat it. Just throw the ball down the middle and see what happens. 
2-1 pitch from Hines. That's exactly what he does. Strike number two. We got two and two here with two outs in the second inning. Hennessy waits for the pitch. Hines comes to the set. Hennessy slaps the ball down the line, down the left field line for a fair ball. And Matt Kelly scores, and the, and the Presidents are on the board 4-1. to one. Great job of hitting there by Hennessy. Had two strikes on him, shortened up, went the other way. Got a ball in play. It fell in front of the left fielder. And uh, the Presidents are on the board. You know, Matt Kelly walks. Bad throw by Hines. And then a single, and we got a 4-1 we got a four to one game. Edgerly with a well-timed visit to the mound. He's going to try to settle his senior down. Just, just tell him, hey, throw strikes. We're up 4-1. to one. We're okay. You're doing fine. Just, just throw strikes. Don't try to do too much. Don't press. You're, you're doing just fine. Very good trip by Edgerly right there to settle things down. At plate for the presence is number two, Andrew Peterson. Peterson with a slow roll to third base, fielded by Jackson Murphy, thrown across the diamond. For the third out of the inning. The Presidents put one on the board with two outs. On a hit by Joe Hennessy to make it four to one. We're going to the top of the third. The Raiders coming to the plate. We are ready here for the top of the third with Montero leading off. Albert still out there on the mound throwing strikes. First pitch for Albert is a fastball and uh, Montero kind of fights it off and gets a bloop single to center field, drops in front of the center fielder. And the Raiders are on the on the on the board again. Man on first. No outs here in the third inning of a 4-1 game. And now with the plate is number five, Vinny O'Leary, the center fielder. First pitch by Alberts in the dirt, ball one. Montero with a really aggressive lead. Again, he read the ball in the dirt. Another, that's three or four Red Raiders that are reading the ball in the dirt, thinking about taking off to second base. Um, great reads over there uh, on the bases for the Raiders. Albert comes to the set. A 1-0 pitch fouled off to the right side. One and one. One and one, one and one to Vinny O'Leary. Montero on first base. 
Had a leadoff single up the middle. Fastball down the middle. O'Leary fouls it off to the backstop. We got one ball, two strikes. Albert comes to the set. Montero has a very good lead at first base. Goes to the plate. O'Leary fly ball to center. Devin Desmond tracks it down. We got one out. Batting now for the presence is number 22, Jackson Murphy. Jackson, a junior third baseman. Albert comes to the set. The 0-0 pitch to Murphy. Fastball down the middle, strike one. <laughs> Albert comes to the set, the 0-1 pitch. is high and outside for a ball, we got one and one. One and one to Murphy with Montero on first base with one out here in the top of the third inning of a four to one game. The pitch is a curveball. Nice pitch by Albert for strike two. One ball, two strikes on Murphy. Shorten up, put the ball in play. Here's what Murphy's got to be thinking. A one two pitch is a ball away. We got two and two. Albert comes to the set. We got two two. The pitch fastball, strike three. Two outs, Brendan Hines at the plate. Two outs, man on first. The first pitch to Hines is ball as a fastball high for ball one. One ball, no strikes. The pitch, the fastball down the middle for a strike one. Good swing by Hines there. Seemed to want it all in that swing. One and one to Hines, Montero on first base. Two outs here in the top of the third inning. Albert comes to the set. The one one. Fastball up high, Hines chased it. We got one ball, two strikes. Ball in the dirt for a, for a ball that Ross blocks and Montero takes off right away. Gets himself to second base and score in position here. So we got two balls, two strikes with two outs and a man on second base. Brandon Hyde's trying to choke up on the bat and just slap one into the outfield to get Montero home. The 2-2. Two -two. Foul back. The count remains 2-2. Two -two. Albert stares in at the sign, gets the one he likes, comes to the set. Another foul ball by Hines. Working hard up there, staying alive. Not going down easy. Count remains two and two. 
Hines is at the plate. Albert comes to the set. The 2-2 strike three looking. Nice pitch by Albert to get Hines looking. And the Raiders do not score in the third inning. They get a they get a, a bloop single and a stolen base and strand the guy at second base. We go four to one going into the bottom of the third. President's coming to the plate. Kevin Pritchard. He plays for me. He plays for me. No, I have Pritchard, Geary, Murphy. Third here, leading off for the presence is number four, Kellen Coke. Plam Hines starts with a fastball for strike one. The 0 1 pitch, ball up, one and one. Pitch from Hines is a fastball down the middle. Ball hit the center field. The center field slides and makes a great catch, a great diving catch by the center fielder to record the out. That's Vinny O'Leary in center field. No, it's not Vinny O'Leary in center field. That's Zach Taylor in center field. Oh, I'm lying to you again. That's Scotty Ritz. Third time's a charm. Eight next to next to the position of center field, in case anybody was wondering. Scotty Ritz with a great diving catch here in center field to keep the leadoff batter off the bases. We got one out. We got the top of the order back up for the Presidents. We got number three, Devin Desmond, at the plate. Good swing by Devin. Desmond hits the ball into right field. And we got a we got a runner on for the presence. Great hit by Devin there. He didn't wait around. Uh, Hines tried to get ahead of him with a fastball right away, and Devin jumped all over it. Batting for the presence now is Dylan Green, number nine, the shortstop. Devin has some wheels at first, and Lynch he's very good behind the plate. So we'll see how this works. That is a balk. Hines went to throw to first and then didn't throw it. Um, baseball says you can't do that if your foot is engaged with the rubber. If he took his right foot and stepped off the rubber, he can do that. Because his foot was still on the rubber, if you spin to first base, you have to throw the ball. So that's a balk, and Devin Desmond gets a free 90. First pitch to Dylan Green is up high for ball one. Quincy gets a single here and they're in the game. It's a whole new ball game. One ball, no strikes to Dylan Green. The pitch. Fastball inside. One and one. 
I'm sorry, 2-0. Two, oh. two balls, no strikes. The 2-0 pitch. Green hits a bounding ball down to third base. Foul. For strike one. Two balls, no strikes. Is that the pitch he was looking for? Two and one, he's still in command. He's still on top of the count. Hines comes to the set, looks at Desmond at second base, keeps him close. The pitch is another ground ball. Hits to the shortstop. And Dylan Green beats it out on a bobble. Vinny O'Leary at shortstop bobbled the ball just enough to give Dylan Green the chance to beat it out. And the Presidents are rolling again. We have first and third with one out. And at the plate is number six, Nick Ferrara. Nick was the hero against Brockton uh, in extra innings, had the game-winning hit in extra innings. Let's see if he can do something here and get Quincy to cut the lead in half. Hines comes to the set, the first pitch to Ferrara is a ball high. Dylan Green on first, very good speed. Desmond at third, excellent speed. See if Quincy High has a little trickery here. The 1-0 pitch. Fly ball to right field. Looks like Desmond's going to tag up. Ball is caught for the out. Desmond breezes home to cut the lead in half. It's now 4-2, North Quincy. Two out sack. Fly by Ferrara again. Just somebody doing his job. Not trying to do too much. Hits a ball hard to right field. Gets a sack fly. North Quincy is going to appeal third base. Saying that Desmond left early. Uh, I don't... I've been wrong before. But I don't think he left early. Maybe they're not going to appeal. Good call. Coleman Ross at the plate for the Presidents. The first pitch is a curveball in the dirt for ball one. I thought Coach Edgerly came out and said something to the umpire and pointed at the third base like they were going to appeal it. Dylan Green still at first. Coleman Ross at the plate. Hines with the pitch. Fastball down the middle. Strike one. We get two outs here in the bottom of the third inning. Four to two Raiders. Dylan Green at first, Coleman Ross at the plate. Hines, the one one delivery. Is a ball low. Two balls, one strikes Coleman Ross. The pitch is another fastball that Coleman takes down the middle. Two balls, two strikes. Coleman Ross, very good hitter, very disciplined hitter. Knows the pitches that he likes. Knows what he wants to hit. 2-2. Two -two. Ball upstairs. Three balls, two strikes. Dylan Green will be going with the pitch. Just make sure the pitcher goes home and then he'll be off with the pitch. Coleman Ross can hit a gap here. We might have some uh, some fireworks. 3-2 pitch from Hines to Ross. Hits the ball straight up in the air. Foul territory. Kevin Pritchard is going over. And he makes a catch. Makes a catch in foul territory. Gets the Raiders out of the inning. But not before Quincy High puts another one on the board. Cuts the lead in half. It's 4-2. Raiders coming to the plate.
Okay, ladies and gentlemen, this is the top of the fourth inning here at Adams Field for the North Quincy Red Raiders and the home team, the Quincy Presidents. Four to two right now, North Quincy. Again, it's the fourth inning, and leading off for the Red Raiders is Charlie Ambrose. Albert Guzman still on the mound for the Presidents. First pitch ball, fastball away, ball one. A 1 0 delivery by Albert. Here's a strike right down the middle. 1 0 1, evened it up. The 1 1 pitch from Albert is a foul ball right straight back to the screen. One ball, two strikes. One and two to the leadoff batter. Albert doesn't like what he sees. He calls Coleman Ross out. He wants to talk about the next pitch. Well, they want to make sure they're on the same page. Pitcher doesn't want to throw a curveball. Catch is expecting a fastball. Albert got the one he likes. The one two pitch. Swing and a miss. Albert with his fourth strikeout of the night. He's given up five hits, no walks, he has four strikeouts. North Quincy's turned over the uh, the lineup again. Top of the order, center fielder Scotty Ritz who just made that great diving catch in center field. First pitch was a ball. Albert with the 1-0 delivery. Ground ball to third base. Good play by Ferrara. Throws the ball over. Oh, it gets by the first baseman. On a bad throw, the ball went into dead territory, so the runner automatically gets the next base, so he gets up to second base. And for three innings in a row, the Red Raiders have the leadoff batter on. Man on second, and sophomore Zach Taylor steps to the plate. Zach Taylor, two for two so far tonight. We got one out here for North Quincy. Albert comes to the set. Foul ball, straight back. No balls, one strike. <laughs> Next pitch is a strike, we got 0-2. To Zach Taylor, let's see if he can uh, let's see if he can put one in play here and keep his two for two going. Again, man on second, one out for the Raiders. Taylor's just looking to hit the ball to the right side to advance the runner. The pitch from Albert is a ball in the dirt. Good block by Coleman Ross. Great work back there by Coleman Ross. Got one ball, two strikes. Not sure what's going on here with Edgerly. Talking to the umpire about something. Anyway, we, we resume play here. One ball, two strikes to Zach Taylor. Hits a ground ball. Nice play by Albert. Throws him out of first base. Great PFP right there. Came off the mound, fielded the ball, threw out Taylor at first base. If that got by him, it might have been a run for the Presidents. Uh, and, and Taylor definitely would have been safe. Great play right there by Albert. 
Two outs. Catcher number three, Johnny Lynch at the plate. Had a single last at bat to right field to drive in a run. Let's see if he can do it again. First pitch of the ball in the dirt. The 1-0 pitch to Lynch, this fastball down the middle, strike one. Albert evens it up at 1-1. One one. The 1-1 one, one pitch to Lynch is a curveball for strike two. One ball, two strikes to Lynch. Ritz is on third base. We got two out here in the top of the fourth inning. Albert got the one he liked, the one two delivery. And it's a single up the middle by Lynch. He had another two out hit. Drives in another run. And Johnny Lynch and Zach Taylor have four of the six hits for the Red Raiders tonight. That's a big run right there. You know, North uh, Quincy High comes up, cuts the lead in half, gets it to 4-2. They got two outs. They're a strike away from getting out of the inning. And then Lynchy hits the ball up the middle. Makes it 5-2 Raiders, number six, Lamb Hines, a pitcher, up to the plate. Lynchy was pinch run for again by the, the, the courtesy runner rule. So he's not on first base. Albert, fastball, Hines files it straight back, and we got 1 0. I'm sorry, 0 1. The 0 1 pitch by Albert is a ball. Albert, the delivery on 1 1. We got a fly ball by Hines. It's going to be on the line and it's called a fair ball. It's called a fair ball down the right field line. Hines gets a single out of that. Ball blooped in between the right fielder, the second baseman, and the first baseman right on the line. And it drops in there, and North Quincy has first and third with two outs. And number 23, Alex Montero at the plate. Rick Beach with a mound visit here to, to Albert, <laughs> seeing how he's doing. Again, he's given up five runs through three and two thirds. So he's just seeing how he's doing, making sure his arm's okay, making sure he's, you know, not beating himself up, keep throwing strikes. And again, this is Albert's last game. So I'm gonna think that he's gonna be out there for as long as possible for uh, Coach Beach to try to win this game for him. We got two outs, Alex Montero at the plate, first and third. Hines is at first, the pinch runner is at third. The pitch is a fastball, fouled back. No balls, one strike. The 0-1 pitch <coughs> to Montero is another foul ball. 
0-2 to Montero. You got to think Hines is on the move here. The 0-2 pitch to Montero. Hines takes off and Montero spoils it down the right field line for a foul ball. The count remains 0-2. Albert gets the one he wants again. 0-2. Another foul ball by Montero. And I believe I have the runner at third as number 16, Robert Broderick. The count remains 0-2. The 0-2 pitch to Montero. Hits a sky-high fly ball. Desmond's on the move. He seems to be under it. And Albert gets out of that one. Fly out to Desmond to end the inning. Through three and a half, it is North Quincy 5 and Quincy High 2. Bottom of the fourth here, Hines back out on the mound. Leading off for the president's is number five, Zach Donahue. Uh, what are you talking about? Hines, first pitch. Ball one low. Okay. 
second pitch is a ball in the dirt as well. We've got two balls, no strikes. Two balls, no strikes to Donahue. For the next pitch, fastball right down the middle for strike one. Two balls, one strike. Fastball away from Hines. Three and one. Fastball strike two. Three and two. Three two delivery by Hines. Is in there for strike three looking. He came back from a tough at bat there, tough count to be in. He was in two balls, no strikes. He battled back and got himself a strikeout looking. Up now for the presence, number 14, Matt Kelly. The first pitch by Hines is a strike. No balls and one strike to Matt Kelly. The second pitch is also a strike. Really good spot there, right about just under the knee level. Really good spot, almost an unhittable pitch. And we got 0-2. Nice pitch, nice curveball there by Lamb Hines. Goes three pitches, three strikes, and gets him out of there. Another strikeout looking. That's five strikeouts tonight for Hines. The last two looking. Batting for the Presidents now is Joe Hennessy. He sees a ball one. Pitch by Hines. His ground ball to first over to Kevin Pritchard, who makes the play in fair territory. Steps on first and gets out of the inning. No runs, no hits for the Presidents in that half of the inning. And as we go to the fifth, the score remains 5-2, to two, North Quincy. Here we go in the fifth inning. Albert still on the mound for the Presidents. And leading off for the Red Raiders is number five, the shortstop, Vinny O'Leary. Five two in the fifth. No balls, one strike. A pitch from Albert. Fly ball to right field. Right fielder glides over there. Oh, has a little bit of trouble, but finally catches it for out number one.
Batting now for the Red Raiders is number 22, the third baseman, Jackson Murphy. Fastball by Albert Guzman for strike one. Second pitch is a fastball. He beats Murphy with it. Now we got 0-2. The pitch by Albert. Looks like we got a gap shot by Murphy. Right fielder tracks it down for the second out of the inning. Good piece of hitting there by Murphy. And a good catch by the right fielder. Two outs here in the fifth. Been a relatively quick inning so far. Let's see if Albert can get out of here with uh, under 10 pitches. This inning, that would be good for his pitch count. Definitely get him out there for another inning. At the plate for the president's number two, Brandon Hines. Albert throws strike one right by him. No balls, one strike. The second pitch is a fastball right in the inside corner for strike two. Albert's dealing right now. He's having himself a heck of an inning. We got 0-2 to Hines. The pitch. Fastball away. One ball, two strikes. Try to get Hines to chase a fastball away. Very good idea. Seeing he's been throwing a lot of strikes. One ball, two strikes to Hines. Guzman in the windup, the pitch. Fastball inside, strike three. He gets him looking. He gets Hines looking, and he now has five Ks. Both pitchers have five strikeouts. Uh, Albert has three of them looking, and Hines has only two of them looking. But we are through five innings. I'm sorry, four and a half. We got bottom of the fifth coming up. Five to two, North Quincy Red Raiders. President's coming to the plate. Bottom of the fifth here. Leading off of the presence, number two, Andrew Peterson. Hines still out on the mound for the Raiders and starts the inning with a fastball. Strike one. Hines with the wind up. Ball low. Peterson evens count at one and one. Hines with the wind up, same spot, he, he, he thought he was going to get it. I tell you what, I like that pitch. I know the umpire's calling it a ball, but that ain't a bad pitch at all. Two balls, one strike. If you're a pitcher, that's what you want to miss. Two and one to Peterson. Hits the ball straight up in the air, foul territory, Pritchard going over, ball's out of play. We got two balls and two strikes. Yeah, 
2 2 to Peterson. Hines goes into the windup. The 2 2 pitch. Curveball. Hit up the middle for a single by Peterson when Quincy High has a runner on. No out here in the fifth inning of a 5 2 game. And Quincy High can start a little something here. They're going to have a pinch runner go out for Peterson. Number seven, Ryan LaRoche, is going to run for Peterson. Batting now for Quincy High is number four, Kellen Coop. I wonder if Beach will put the pressure on here, but we're running and bunting. Hines comes to the set. Ball one up high. LaRoche doesn't have the biggest lead over at first base. But again, he just come off of the just come off of the bench, so he's trying to feel into the game a little bit here. We got one ball, no strikes, timeout called. Hines comes to the set, gives a look at first. The pitch is a fastball. Hines evens up at one and one. A one one pitch by Hines is up high for a ball. Two balls, one strike. Hines pitch count's got to be getting up there a little bit. I'm sure Edgley's going to be running someone down to the bullpen soon enough. Two balls and a strike. The pitch. Fly ball to center field. It's going back, back. Nice catch. Good, good catch by Scotty Ritz out there in center field for the first out of the inning. We got the top of the order for the presidents coming up. Number three, Devin Desmond. Last at bat, Devin hit a single into right field and scored a run for the presidents on a sack fly. Oh, my bad. A roach with the lead off of first base. Hines comes to the set. The pitch, fastball away for strike one. These guys, again, they play on the same summer team. They know each other well. I'm sure Hines knows, you know, where to pitch Desmond. And he also knows if Desmond get, gets on, he's a game changer. He can run the bases like nobody else. Fastball fouled off of Desmond's shin. He is on the ground. That didn't sound good. He's going to try to walk this thing off. For anybody watching at home, that, that's never happened to. That is one of the most painful things in the whole world. He's throwing the ball as hard as he can. You're swinging the bat as hard as you can. That ball comes off that bat. They call it velo. That's, uh, I'm sorry, exit velocity. Um, that is that is some serious pain when you foul that thing off your leg. Great sportsmanship by Lynchy there, going out, taking a walk, and talking to Hines, and giving Desmond a chance to, to shake it off a little bit. 0-2 from Hines to Desmond. Foul ball. Pulls the ball down the right field line, falls it off. Still noticeably limping back to the plate. Hines comes to the set. LaRoche is at first. The 0-2 pitch to Desmond. Fastball. Strike three inside, looking. Desmond doesn't like it, it looked a little in.
Batting for the Presidents with two outs is number nine, Dylan Green. LaRoach finally takes off. Lynch, he throws the ball down to second base from his knees and comes up short. And we got a stolen base for LaRoach. Two outs for the Presidents. Very good hitter and Dylan Green at the plate. LaRoach on second with some wheels. If we can get a single here, it's gonna be uh, it's gonna be interesting. <laughs> Dylan Green, ground ball to second, and a great play by the second baseman for North Quincy. Charlie Ambrose just went down to his knees and picked it, and. Uh, they get Dylan Green to first base, and President's uh, strand a runner at second. Through five innings, it's still 5-2 North Quincy. We're back, top of the sixth inning. Leading off for the Raiders is Charlie Ambrose. He just made the play at second base on the diving stop from uh, Dylan Green. Albert still in the mound for the Presidents. Hits 1-1 one, one on the batter, Charlie Ambrose. Ball is low, one ball, uh, two balls, one strike. One pitch to Ambrose, a curveball for strike two. <laughs> Albert had a really good fifth inning. See if he can bounce back and have a really good sixth inning and keep the presidents in this game, give them a chance to win it. The one two pitch is a ground ball right back to Albert, who makes the play, throws the first base for an out. Nice play by Albert. Batting now for the for the Raiders is the top of the order, number 19, Scotty Ritz. First pitch from Albert Guzman is ball is low, ball one. That was a great pay by Albert on that last play, that comeback. That's a tough play to make. The 0-1 pitch, uh, excuse me, the 1-0 pitch is a soft fly ball that gets over the shortstop's head and in front of the center fielder. What we call in baseball, no man's land. And it lands for a, a single by Ritz. Brings to the plate number 13, Zach Taylor. Uh, 
Albert comes to the set, gets a pitch he likes and delivers. Fastball. Fly ball to right field. The right fielder comes in, dives and makes a catch for the second out of the inning and keeps Scotty Ritz at first base. Now batting for the Raiders is number three, the catcher Johnny Lynch. Last two at bats had two really, really good hits to drive in runs. And Albert, Albert Guzman makes a mental mistake there with a man on first base. He goes from the windup. Just a mental mistake. And Scotty Ritz took advantage of that and took second base. You don't see that much. It's just a mental lapse there. Two outs. If it's no harm, it's no harm. The pitch, fly ball to center field. Desmond has to track it. He's running back and he makes a catch to end the inning. Nice track by Desmond there. Just turned and ran to his left and uh, tracked that ball down. He has a lot of speed out there in center field. Made the catch to end the inning. Through five and a half, it's still five two Raiders. President's coming to the plate. Here we are back, bottom of the sixth inning. Hines still out there, doing a good job throwing strikes. Down off with a curveball for strike one. 
at the plate for the Presidents is number six, Nick Ferrara. Fastball fouled off, and he's behind the count now, 0-2. The 0-2 delivery from Hines. Ball hits a right field track down by Brandon Hines for out number one. Good piece of hitting there was 0-2, through a curve ball, he stayed on it. Shot it to right field like he's supposed to. Coleman Ross at the plate now for the Presidents. Curveball starting him off. Strike one. Hines doing a really good job tonight mixing up first pitch curveballs, first pitch fastballs, keeping the Quincy High hitters off balance. Lynchy calling a really good game behind the plate. The 0 1 pitch is a ball outside for 1 and 1. The 1 1 pitch is a ball in the dirt. Two balls, one strike to Coleman Ross. Two balls, one strike. Hines taking a little bit of a walk, trying to regroup himself here. Take a deep breath and get right back in the count. Two and one fastball for strike two. Two balls, two strikes to Coleman Ross here in the bottom of the sixth inning of a 5-2 game. Raiders ahead 5-2 with one out. Nobody on for the Presidents. The pitch is a curveball that Ross, that Coleman Ross fights off. It's a ground ball to shortstop. Shortstop picks it up, throws the ball to first base to the second out of the inning. With two outs, let's see if the president can get something started that's sent to the plate. The lefty, number five, Zach Donahue. The pitch to Donahue is away, ball one. The wind up by Hines. The 1 0 pitch is a single to left field. Donahue in opposite field for a single and try to get a little two out rally going. Good piece of hitting right there by Zach. Up to the plate now is number 14, Matt Kelly. Lynch, you want to go out and talk to High and see how he's feeling, get on the same page for this kid. Wasn't a quick conversation, so they're, uh, they know what they want to do here. We got two outs. Zach is at first base, has a very aggressive lead, lead at first. First pitch of the ball in the dirt. 1 0 to Matt Kelly. Hines comes to the set, throws to first. Donahue slides back in safe. Hines comes to the set. The pitch is a ball up high. Two balls, no strikes to Matt Kelly. The 2-0 pitch to Matt Kelly. Hits a ball. Ground ball to second base. Picked up by Ambrose. Throw to first to complete the inning. Quincy High one hit that inning, stranded one runner on base. 
scored no runs, and we go into the seventh frame here at Adams Field. Okay, everybody, here we go at the top of the seventh inning, and Hines leads off and hits a bomb to right field, over the right fielder's head. He's all the way at the fence. Hines is coming around to third base, and he slides in there for a lead-off triple. Liam Hines helping his own cause with a lead-off triple in the seventh inning of a 5-2 game. Alex Montero now at the plate for the Raiders. The Quincy High infield is drawn in at this point. They cannot afford to give up any more runs. Strike one by Albert. All Montero is looking to do is hit the ball hard through the infield or a nice sack fly to the outfield. Don't try to do too much. Don't try to hit the ball over the fence. Just hit the ball hard somewhere and live with the result. The pitch. Swing straight back, foul ball straight back to the backstop. <coughs> 0 2 on Montero. Mindset has to be to just shorten up and just shoot it somewhere. Shorten up and shoot it somewhere. Albert Guzman 0 2, the wind up. Ball up. One ball, two strikes. The one two pitch to Montero swings at a foul ball. Ooh, I thought that ball was in the dirt. He picked it out of the dirt for foul ball. Count remains one and two. Seventh frame for Albert. So, uh, unless Quincy High can come back and tie it up, or he'll uh, this will be his last inning as a high school baseball player. One ball, two strikes to Montero. The pitch, ball two. As I said at the beginning of the broadcast, and as you saw with the family at home plate, he was given uh, his mother flowers now because this is his senior day. Uh, Albert next week is going into the the service. Uh, we believe it's the Marine Corps, but we're not 100% sure on that, but he is going to defend our country. So we want to thank Albert for uh, all of the services that he's going to have. Back to the pitcher, Albert, with a flip, and the ball is on the ground. Coleman Ross could not receive the ball, and the ball is on the ground, and Coleman is on the ground. Looks like there was a slide at the plate, a little... 
not collision, just a you know slide, good and healthy slide at the plate, and uh, the ball jarred loose there, and Hines slid in safe. Coleman Ross is up. Looks like he's okay. A little shaken up there. Heads up running by Montero. Montero gets a second uh, in that situation. Uh, as there was a little dust up at the plate with the slide and the ball and everything like that, Montero just turned and went to second base. Very heads up play. Um, Nonetheless, the run scores. It's 6-2 to two, North Quincy in the seventh inning. Still no outs. Uh, Montero was at second. He's being pinch run for now. If I get the number, I'll let you know who it is. And at the plate for the Red Raiders is number five, Vinny O'Leary, with no outs. A pitch from Albert. High fly ball to center field. Desmond looks like he's under it. He's positioning himself to throw to third. And good tag up there by the North Quincy Red Raiders to get to third base with one out. And they threw the ball to second base. It looks like Vinny, I'm sorry, it looks like the, uh, the pinch runner left early. They threw the ball to second base and he is out for a double play. Thought as he was coming off was number 11, Charlie Clifford. If it's not, I do apologize. Uh, but he got doubled up because he left early from second base. So now North Quincy has nobody on. Two outs, Jackson Murphy at the plate, strike one by Albert. The 0-1 pitch is a fastball. Murphy goes down and looks for it, swings and misses, it's 0-2. No balls, two strikes, Jackson Murphy. Two outs, nobody on in the seventh inning. The pitch, ground ball to second base. And the play is made and Quincy High gets out of it, only giving up one run on the triple by Lamb Hines. And then the uh, Alex Montero swing. That went in front of the pitcher and Albert tried to make a good play. And I just want to say again that if uh, if Quincy Hyde has not put up four runs right here and go into extra innings, Albert has done his job as a Quincy president, as a Quincy baseball player, uh, and everything that he could do. And he is moving on um, and going into the service. So if you do watch this, Albert, or your family does watch this, thank you for everything that you've done to this point and everything you will do moving forward uh, for, to, for the protection of the people of the United States. So thank you very much. Best of luck. Here we are for the bottom of the seventh inning. Just to close the book on Albert, he had six strikeouts, gave up nine hits, uh, no walks, which is always an impressive thing. Um, I'm sorry, five strikeouts. Five strikeouts, nine hits, no walks uh, for the North Quincy Red Raiders through, through seven innings. And the Quincy presidents now come to the plate, chasing four. And at bat first is number 16, Joe Hennessy. Ball won by Hines. Hines out there looking for a complete game as well. Uh, again, senior, captain, uh, you know, look, looking to put a stamp on his his senior year. Hennessy swings, fly ball to center field. Center field attracts it. Scotty Ritz tracks it down, and we have one out. Andrew Peterson now stepping into the plate for the Presidents. A 
First pitch by Hines. Ooh, looked good, but it's a ball outside. Hines still throwing well through seven innings here. Um, his, his pitch count is definitely up a little bit, but he's still throwing hard. He still has command. Um, good move by Edgerly, keeping him in there for sure. He has complete control of this game. Uh, that pitch was a foul ball off to the right side by Peterson. We've got a 1-1 count. The 1-1 by Hines to Peterson is a fastball up that he chased. And now it's one ball and two strikes. Andrew Peterson, one ball, two strikes. Hines, a delivery. Ball low. Two and two. Fastball fouled off by Peterson. The count remains at two and two. The two two pitch. Ball hit the shortstop. Line drive caught. Peterson is out, and the presidents are down to their last out. And Kellen Cope was the guy at the plate for the president's last out. Again, Hines looking for a complete game here. As a senior, always a big big day when you can you play the city rival and get a complete game win. So Kellen Cope steps to the plate. Hines, a pitch. Fastball down the middle for strike one. He is now two strikes away. The 0-1 pitch by Hines, fastball down, hasn't been getting that low strike. That's a really good spot to miss. Pitchers like to stay down there. It's a really, really good spot. Uh, just a little low. 1-1 pitch by Hines to Cope. Ball away, two balls, one strike. Liam Hines with the 2-1 pitch. The ball is up. It's three balls and one strike. Liam Hines into the windup, the 3-1 pitch. Ball four inside. We're going to walk. Walk for the Presidents. Still breathing life. They turn the order over. This is where they want to be. They got the top of the order up. Devin Desmond coming to the plate, top of the order. Edgerly's going to take a visit. 6-2 in the seventh. I don't see anybody in the bullpen. This is his guy. I think he's going to ride him for at least one or two more batters. Senior Devin Desmond at the plate, center fielder. Lead off batter. Again, I said Quincy High has turned the lineup over. So we'll see what happens. Here's something interesting if you're watching out there. So Devin Desmond is a lefty. The Raiders are up six to two. And Pritchard is holding the guy on at first base. Wouldn't you want him back on the grass to make this ground ball? Because, you know, Devin Desmond can hit and he can run a little bit. Any bauble, he's going to be safe. Fastball up high. Two balls, no strikes. Here's Devin Desmond's count right here. Two balls, no strikes. Let's see what Devin does. See if Hines lays one in there. Nope. Ball three, up and away. Three balls, no strikes. Three balls, no strikes. Devin Desmond, green light, swinging away instead of taking it. And he rips a single. 
to left field, opposite field single there. And it's first and second with two outs. With number nine, Dylan Green coming to the plate. Hines comes to the set. Fastball, strike one to Dylan Green. Good spot to take a pitch there for Dylan. Again, you're driving the pitch count up, you're working the count. The ball's not where he likes it, it's a little up, he just lets it go. See if Hines makes another mistake. 0 and 1, ball away, 1 and 1. Dylan Green is a shortstop again. Hines and Dylan Green play on the same team in the summer. They know each other well. They know, you know, the strengths and weaknesses of each player. Curveball for Hines, strike two. One ball, two strikes. Hines, one strike away from getting his complete game win. Dylan Green is a tough out, though. Hines to the set, the one, two. Ground ball by Dylan Green, fielded by Murphy, thrown across the diamond. And that is the game, folks. Final score here from Adams Field. North Quincy Red Raiders, six of Quincy Presidents. Two final stat for Hines is uh, he had six strikeouts. He gave up five hits, two walks, and a complete game. I did not keep the pitch count, so I'm not sure what the pitch count is on each guy. But that is the final stat. Six strikeouts, five hits, six strikeouts, and two walks, and a win, and a 6-2 to two win by the North Quincy Red Raiders. I'd just like to take a second to thank QATV and John Cleary for having me tonight to call the game. I know John is out there uh, braving the elements on the, on the camera, so John, thank you for everything. Thank you uh, again for watching QATV and the North Quincy Red Raiders 6 and the Quincy Presidents 2. Thank you. Have a great night.